Oh boy, we've got a lot of collecting to do. What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you know really care as we've just gone through all of Pinwheel Forest at this point. And oh boy, there's a lot of things to collect if my notes are correct. For one thing, we've got not one, not two, but three, four, five, six different types of Pokemon to collect in this area. And though there is technically seven if you count the white version of this game as well, but it's not available in this game, so it doesn't matter. On top of that, there's also a whole slew of items and hidden items in the area, so of course, we're gonna go and get everything. Although we did get a couple of items on the way anyway. Like we got the super potion, we got an antidote, I think we got a paralyzed hill, and we got the miracle seed. But there is more stuff to get, so oh boy, we got a lot of collecting to do. I've got all my old Pokemon ready for catching ring new ones. So let's just get through this nice peaceful area here, and then let's move on back onto a pinwheel forest. Also, I'm not really going to care about walking into trainers even in this sort of side series mode because, well, the main series guys already sort of left these people in the dust for one thing, but also, it'd be good to get some experience for these guys because they do genuinely need leveling up. If anything, they need it more than the main Pokemon because they actually are trying to get to the next evolution so I can finish the Pokedex. So, trainers here, take them on anyway as well. Last Eva, or Ava, depending on what you prefer. I know an Ava, I know an Eva. Doesn't make a difference. Right, Zapra, you've defeated many a Woobats in the past. Simply use a shockwave and get them out of here. Lovely, can we move on now? This is basically what I used to do in the Wellspring Bridge for like all eternity when I was looking for a uh, drill buff for the first time. You know, a whole three days ago, or however long ago it was. Is it three days? No. Two days, two days ago. Whatever. And you're gone. Any more? No? Oh, uh, you have- how many Woobats do you have, lady? Jesus! Well, either way, we're getting a level out of this. Now, something I expect to see quite soon is quite a lot of evolved forms, because most of the Pokémon that I've got here level up at level 25, and we've just made it to 20, so... which is higher than the main Pokémon, main party. Battle with a gym badge holder is different. It sure is, lass. I'm gonna move my Pokemon around a bit. Or I'm not at all because I instantly run into another trainer. Why do Pokemon and people stay together? That's the theme of my research. Cool. Oh, you're just a little kid. School kid Sammy. Hey! Muna! Are you sending out Muna? I haven't even gotten to the wild Pokemon yet, let alone the items. I'm too busy finding off the trainers. Alright, well, I don't want to split any experience in half, so I might as well just go with what I've got for now. Um, let's charge up for this one. And then your yawning going to be very effective if I kill you in this next move. Which hopefully with the charge, I should be able to do, right? made it. Crud. Well, looks like I'm... Well, you know what? No, I'm not going to split the experience. It doesn't give us much anyway, so let's just use another Chester Berry. Thank you. That was a cool animation. I've also just come to discover that... Ah, uh, I've also just come to discover that, um, even though I said most of the Pokemon level up at 25, it's kind of different, because Zapra here actually only levels at 27, so I'm already slightly wrong. But I did say most, so not all of them. And we're right back down to where we were before, huh? Oh my god, is this all this is going to be? Are you healing the same amount that I'm damaging? If so, that's kind of rude. No, you're healing more. You're healing more than I'm damaging. That will you use to attack lowering thing. Jeez, okay. Here, I'm gonna charge this time then. Or I should paralyze you. Oh, and now you're using yawn. Good damn it. You're too good at this game. I know I should have used paralyze straight away. It's all because I thought I could take you out in two hits. A charge and a shockwave should have done it. This will do it though. Thank you. 
ray of light is shone in. I feel like a little, a little like, a little, I feel, I feel. Any more trainers down here? No, because we're right back to the beginning. All right then, let's do some. Wait, do I even have pokeballs? Yes, I have six great balls. Those will do, I'm sure. And what is nice is because this is a new area, it doesn't matter what Pokemon I find, it's one I want to capture. So, right of. Well, never mind. Pidov. Get out of here, Pidov. What do we get this time? There we go. Some pluff. Puff thing. Cottony. Cottony has a 35% chance of appearing in the grass here, and I do believe. Actually, it might be the other way around. There is a trainer back in the um, last town, what's it called again? N Nacreen City, that's the one, I know Pokemon games, that either wanted a Cottony to trade you for some other Pokemon, or it would give you Cottony if you traded some Pokemon. Either way, the other Pokemon is the Pokemon White equivalent to um, Cottony, which is, where are my notes? Lilligant, no it's not, it's Petalil, Petalil? Wait, no I'm thinking Lillipup. I'm getting messed up in all these names. Freaking Petalil and Lily Pup and Pooly Doo and Cotton Doo. Jesus, okay. So, either I'm never gonna get a Petalil because it's a white exclusive and it doesn't appear in any form, even in trading, or I can get a Petalil, which usually appears in the grass here because I can trade a Cottony for the Petalil. I ain't too certain. We're gonna find out right after we actually hit. One, two, three. Four, five, that's good. I doubt you're ever gonna get another Fury Slice like that again, Button, so I'm gonna trust you to do a second one, not kill it, and then I'll capture it. That's my way of thinking, that's my logic, you see? I think it's quite effective. One, two, three. Critical hit, it killed it. Good job, Buttons. Good job. Never mind, I didn't think that would be taken down so easily, but apparently it was. There we go, Cottony's in the Pokedex now. Cottony! When attacked, it escapes by shooting cotton from its body. The cotton serves as a decoy to distract the attacker. Hmm. Also, it has no footprints. I will give a nickname to Cottony. I don't know why I thought it was fitting. But I'm calling it bedsheet, because why not? Now unfortunately, Cottony is not going to be part of our party for collecting Pokemon very often, because it evolves by getting a Sunstone, which we do not have, and it doesn't require leveling up, so he's not going to be in our capture partying party. Unlike Buttons here, who evolves at level 20, I believe? Yeah, so only five levels away. Anyway, now we've got another new Pokemon on our hands. We have Silwaddle! We're running low on Fury Swipes, but I'm sure Buttons can do fine. Not if it avoids, and then kills us. Wow. Good job, me! You're the next Pokemon, please. We have Floofy Doof up next, who is paralyzed as well. I can, I can heal the paralysis. Yeah, I think I will do that. Actually, if this is a, if I'm getting if I'm attacking a Pokemon that I want to capture and we don't yet ex earn experience for capturing Pokemon like you do in Pokemon Y, then it would probably be best to actually just go straight over to Mushana, who has a hypn hypnosis, which instantly makes it fall asleep and makes it easier to capture. Or I could just kill it accidentally. That works too. Perfect, now that it's asleep, let's go for a Psybeam. I think Mushana, as much as she's not well, yeah, she's, she's specifically good for actually, or Plume. Is that an M or an M? I think I put M, didn't I? Yeah, Plume, like smoke of, Plume of Smoke. I think it's gonna be my main, uh, my main Pokemon capturing Pokemon. Um. I'm gonna just throw Great Balls, who cares about it matching anymore, because it's 
got kind of a not the best chance of getting captured considering it has half its health, maybe just more than half its health. That being said though, still caught it. Not bad. So, Sir Waddle! Lee Vanny dressed it in clothes they made for it when it hatched. It hides its head in its hood while it is sleeping. Ah. Oh. I will indeed give it a name. Sir Waddle shall now be known as... Syrupple! Because it's like, when I first saw it, I thought it was some sort of golden syrup thing. So it's syrup and Sir Waddle. Syrup, 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 syrup. There's the last Pokemon we're looking for, Venipede, having a 15% chance of appearing in the ground. And also, look at this, how the things have changed. The Pokemon that we just spent time capturing is now on our side and fighting against its own. Not doing very well because Venipede is protecting itself. But anyway, Syrupple here will evolve at level 20. And considering the Pokemon in my team right now are getting to level 20, probably be a good idea to have on my team. Might even evolve this video if I'm lucky. Venipede, however, evolves at level 22, so he'll also be joining our party kind of soon. Assuming I can actually successfully capture him. Also, it's a she this time, so I probably shouldn't refer to it as a him. Um, Bugbite ain't gonna do very well because it's a bug type as well, right? I'm just gonna check this. I mean, I know we're in like a forest, bugs everywhere, but it's good to know these sorts of things, you know? Yeah, not very effective. In that case, uh, that's also a bug type move. Tackle will probably be our best bet. Look at that, does the most damage. Still doesn't do a whole ton, but whatever. Also, it's really ironic, because I literally just said Mushana was going to be the main Pokemon used for capturing Pokemon, yet I moved her out of the party in place of Syrupple. Sorry. Now, you ain't going to get ex any experience out of this Syrupple, so I don't entirely know why you're here, if I'm honest. That being said, I am going to use this Gre Great Ball in the hope that it won't kill Syrupple. Will the poison still hurt even after I capture it? I hope not. Probably not. One, two, three. Nice! I'm surprised at how easy this is getting. Like, three Pokemon. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and quick. Or maybe I'm just losing my sense of time. Venipede. Its bite injects a potent poison, enough to paralyze large bird Pokemon that try to prey on it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give Venipede the nickname Vanypede, because it looks like one massive pulsating strength strengthened vein. I know it's gross. Now also, I'm not sure if I ever actually said this or noticed, talked to this lady, and I believe some lady out here, maybe it's her. I think yeah, I remember. She will heal you because she's a nurse after you fought her. And that's very helpful because it means I don't have to go to the Pokemon Center all the time. So now that we've got these main three Pokemon out of the way of the grass, we would mainly be done, but there's a lot more stuff to get. First of all, we've got some Pokemon trainers to give to deal with, to deal with. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day, a battle here is a piece of cake. Yes, because for one hand, the one on one hand, for one thing, don't combine phrases at the same time. One thing I want to take on these trainers to get a little bit of experience, which is always nice and good and great. But also, we have some items to get around the place, so I'll be running around there. And on top of that, there are three Pokemon we can get, I think, yes, three Pokemon we can get in the... Actually, maybe it's four Pokemon. Either way, there are Pokemon we can get in the Shaking Grass as well, so we've got more stuff to do here. I'll probably end up splitting this video in two, for all I know. Anyway, let's go for a Bug Bite. Alright, we're dead. No, we're not. Somehow, Syrupple survived that. Good job. Yeah, you ain't gonna survive any more at this rate. Um, I'm gonna swap you out right now. Get out a cat instead. Because everyone knows cats beat dogs, right? Oh, obviously. Totally not the other way around. 
Oh, Buttons avoided the attack. Good job. Um, they're not gonna run away anytime soon, so Fury swipes and then we'll run away. Oh, it's got a higher speed. Oh, critical hit again. I'm sorry, Buttons. It seems you never have a good fight these days. Never. Alright, well, I'll just fight your dog with another dog. Ah. And we've got Intimidate on there, that's always good. And we're a higher level dog, so... Here, you keep taking me down! I'll take you down myself! How does it feel to have a taste of your own medicine? It's painful, isn't it? Yeah. And... Oh! I was expecting Syrupple to, like, get a whole level... bunch of levels out of that, no? Okay. Something about losing in Pinwheel Forest? Boohoo. Ranger always has one of these, I'll give it to you! Oh, thank you. Do all of these rangers just give us some berry? Forest is alive. Something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. Something changes every day? That's a little creepy if you ask me, but okay. Here we go, shaking grass! I thought I could hear it. So, we have... Oh, Nordino. You got me all excited as well. I just realised, bug bite means that you also eat the berry that the Pokemon's holding. And sometimes you do find wild Pokemon holding, like, Oran berries, so... This would be really good, because you eat the berry and get the effect of that as well. That's... I like that move! Man! Seruffle's becoming more of like an underdog for me, even though it's clearly really weak and small and bug-type. But I like that move! Although maybe I can find something that does a bit more damage. And we're dead. Alright, so we're still in Pinwheel Forest, and I do believe there is an item down here for us. After all, we've gotten pretty much all the trainers in this area, so let's go get ourselves a big route in the little bottom area down here. Up next by this little what? Up next by this ledge log, not a ledge log. We're going up onto this top ledge here, and we can find an item. How exactly do you get to it? I guess go all the way around. Oh, and there's more here. Oh, um, whoops. Indeed, there is another little path up here. And this is where you get TM86 Grass Knot. What does that do? Obviously it's a grass type move, but specifically, what does it do? The user snares the target with grass and trips it. The heavier the target, the greater the damage. Ooh, that could be kind of fun to work with. You know what, I'm gonna put that on. No, I'm not, because I don't have my main party people on it. Whatever. In the future, I'll put it on someone, if I remember. Now there's also another item down there, we'll get it in a sec. We did not get into any Pokemon, that's a first, and how do I get to it? I do believe that that item we were after is actually only accessible when you have a certain HM in the future. Hmm, I can feel it, the presence of fierce Pokemon! Cool, I guess I can't go that way. Now I'm thinking, because there is an item along here a little bit further. It's in a tree stump apparently, which isn't anywhere near here, unless it's like in one of these? Pretty sure it's not. It says northeast of bridge. This is the bridge. Uh, either way, I'm pretty sure you can't get the other move anytime soon, but there is another item over there we can get, apparently. I don't know. Oh, there's a tiny mushroom in there? I didn't even write that in my notes. Huh. But apparently there's an item on the northern ledge by the last trainer, which was here. Here. No, it wasn't, wasn't here. First of all, I'm checking all the tree stumps to check stuff. The last tr plasma trainer was here on the northern ledge. There is no northern ledge here, and it wasn't a hidden item. So I'm quite lost. But we've gotten most of the items in this area. I don't think we need to bother too much with what the other ones are, or where they are, or whatever. So, 
there's only one final thing to get. Now that we've got all the wild Pokemon and all the normal trainers and all the items, as good as we can get anyway, it's time to do some good old long time grinding over forever because we got some Pokemon in the shaking grass to deal with. Oh boy, is there nothing down there? No, looks like there would be. Oh well. Here we go, Sirapul grew to level 20. And that means... So in the same session of capturing this Pokemon, we're also evolving it into its next form. Gulpin? Oh! I preferred it when it was just... whatever. Swadloon! Ah. Wants to learn protect? Uh, definitely, sure. Um, I mean, I don't really plan to use you ever again, but sure. The way that there is a third evolution in this line of Syrup Pokemon, as I'm gonna call them from now on. However, it doesn't level up, or should I say evolve, at a specific level. Instead, its next evolution is gotten... gotten? Gotten? By leveling it up when it's got enough happiness. Happiness is not a thing that we're after and gaining through this journey. Well, maybe we are, but either way, now that we've gotten an evolved Swadloon, or a Swaddle into a Swadloon, we're not going to use it anymore. I'll learn how to make it evolve with happiness in the future, right after I learn how to do that with, I believe, Woobat and friendliness in the future as well. Otherwise, Pokemon's evolved, so we've got, what, four new Pokemon this video, or this session, because this might be split into two for all we know, and then we'll see what happens with everything else.